Right, okay guys, I've cut the centre out of this socket and switch bead in here. This is what they look like beforehand. Obviously this one gets plastered in and then you cut the centre out like that and then you're left with this piece inside the wall. The reason that I've done that is because, like I keep saying, I want to be ahead of the plasterer. Um, and one of the downsides that I can kind of see to these um, socket and switch beads is that as an electrician, sometimes something like this provides a perfect opportunity to put your hand in. So I've been on jobs before where I've taken out the fast fix box and I can get my hand into the wall or I've taken out the, knock the screws out of the knockout, so out of a metal knockout, I've taken the screws out and then been able to lift it up from here and sort of push it up, do what I need to do and then pull it back down again and fix it back into place. And I was a bit concerned that I wouldn't be able to do that with, with this socket and switch bead. And in some ways you can, some ways you can't. So it is the thickness of the plasterboard, so you haven't lost any depth. Um, this, this edge here, this edge here is the same thickness as the plasterboard. Okay, so nothing, nothing lost there. However, I don't know if you can see this on the edge of the socket particularly these ones that I'm using. Uh, let me see if I can get you a good, good bit. There's this little... There is a, basically, there's a, there's a bit of machining that sticks up. And it's not much, it kind of sticks up by a couple of mil. There you go, you can kind of just see it, it sticks up a couple of mil. But there's one of those on every corner. So four of those. Which then... So I can get the socket into that position, but I can't push it all the way back because of those 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 tabs, which is a shame because it would be nice to be able to pull that right out of the way if you had to and get that back in again. Now, obviously, I can get a grinder on here and I can I can grind those those tips off and then it would perfectly flush and then it fit in there easily. So it isn't a problem. If I do that before it's in the wall, if it's already in the wall, I won't be able to do that. Um, so if it was already in there, okay, so that that is fitted into the wall from the other side and just pushed in. So if I wanted to work on this wall and get my hand in there, I could unscrew the fixings. I could. If I have, if I've mounted it so it's, it's at this point not actually fixed inside the box, I could still be able to push that up with my hands, get my hand in there, do what I need to do, and then pull it back down again afterwards, reline it up, screw it into place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a noggin into the back of here, and I'm going to see if I can actually do that in practice. Okay, be right back. <laughs> 